Hey everyone, welcome to High School Dropouts Advice. Today we will talk about how to succeed in life. Let me start with a little story. When I was in Thailand, in my teenage age, I saw a large elephant tied by a very, very small chain on one of his legs. I asked the elephant trainer if it's not dangerous because the chain does not look like it can hold the elephant in place if it's really want to escape. He told me, that the elephant was tied with the same chain as a baby. When they were a baby, it was enough to hold them in place. This conditioning of the mind would last until the elephant dies. When the elephant achieves adulthood, it still thinks that it cannot break the chain because it could not do it as a child. It would have the strength and ability to break the chain easily as an adult. But the mind got limited from the past experience. The same applies to our life. Every one of us can remember that as a kid, we want to become an astronaut, a doctor, a movie star, a rich businessman, a professional athlete, a car racer or other exciting jobs. But as we grow up, we will hear from our parents or from our friends and loved ones that it's so dangerous. We are not talented enough. We are not rich enough, not smart enough. We are not good enough and we shouldn't dream so much. Every time we mention our dreams and aims, we get rejected by our loved ones, by the ones we trust, by our parents, our friends, our relatives. How often can a child withstand this kind of rejections until it decides not to share his dreams or her dreams and ambition anymore quicker than we think. Very soon the child keep his dream or her dreams and ambition inside of him or her. Not long after it's buried deep down and one day it's completely forgotten. When you get older, you will realize that 99% of the people around us are scared to fail. So what do they teach their kids if they are scared to fail? They want you to work a stable job, a 9 to 5, to be an employee, having a degree from a good college. So you are one of the many other good kids. By not sticking out, you cannot fail. If the economy crashes, they get laid off with hundreds and thousands of others. They won't stick out and then they can blame the economy as the reason for them to lose the job. They like to be in this hurt. They like not to take responsibility for their life. If something negative happens, they can always blame it on something else. They don't understand that the biggest failure is being part of this 99%. The biggest failure is trying to conform. The kindergarten, school and college is preparing us and educating us to conform so we can become good employees. The society educate and condition our mind to be like the elephant in the story. You will have enough knowledge and strength to break out of this cycle. But you are kept so long in this cycle that you don't realize that you can break free. You go to your job and get told from your boss and managers what you need to do. Exactly the way how you were trained by your kindergarten teacher, high school teacher and professors. As a child, you would naturally want to stick out, but your education around you shape you to fit in. And this is why you are not succeeding. You can only succeed when you break your chain. Don't listen to them anymore, even when they are your loved ones. They don't know that their love and their wrong advices are limiting your potential. They don't want to see you try to found a business and possibly fail. 
when you can go to the college and have a stable job with a college degree. They are scared that you fail and others are laughing at you. <laughs> or that you will have less than others or their reputation and your reputation is damaged. They would trade your freedom with an average life. So you are not risking to fail. This is like parents who tell their kids, please keep crawling. If you try to walk, you will fall. And if they finally can walk, they tell them, don't run. You will fall when you run. But in order to succeed in life, you have to fall. You have to fall, you have to fail, you have to fail many times. As much as you try to walk and run as a child, you will fail and that's all right. Countless times of failures until you master it. The same is with life. No matter what you want to do, be prepared to fail. Fail countless times and listen to hundreds and thousands of people saying that you cannot achieve your aim will be part of your journey to success. So prepared. Just because they think they cannot do it does not mean that you cannot do it. If all humans would conform, we would not have people like Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Jack Ma, Steve Jobs, Jeff Bezos and all those other great people who stick out of society and are changing the world from outside of the cycle. You cannot break the circle if you stand in the middle of the circle. If 100% of humans would conform, we would still live in the stone age, in a cave. We would even be scared to use fire to cook our meat. You have to stand on the edge of this circle. What I mean is that you cannot accept status quo. You have to expand your knowledge, expand your physical condition, expand your mental condition, expand your financial condition, and also your spiritual condition. Be brave to expand and master the unknown. Expand your limits every day until it's not a limit for you anymore. A stronger body allows you to work harder and more efficient. <laughs> Better knowledge, knowledge will cut your work needed. You are more efficient and expand your work or investment in different fields. A better mental condition is helping you to be more focused, having more strength to endure hardship and having more willingness to push through. A better spirit allows you to think further. You will understand that winning this race is not the only aim, but it's how you win it. You want to win it with the loved ones by your side. You don't want to become reckless and become successful and leaving a field of destruction behind you. You want to become successful with the loved ones next to you so you can celebrate together. A better spiritual mind will help you to have more compassion for your surrounding giving you more patience with other people and for yourself. Patience is needed to succeed because success takes time. A better spirit also makes you more adaptable. It's like water, which adapts quick to each situation, but it still flows to the direction it needs to go. But it also pulls the things with him or her along the way. So in order for you to succeed, you have to grow and keep expanding in everything I mentioned. Physically, financially, mentally, and spiritually. Those four are like pillars of your foundations. Those are like walls of your house. If you miss one or lack one, the house is not stable or it will not function properly. Imagine a coach 
with four horses. The coach can only go as fast and far as the slowest and weakest horse. So you need to know what you are lacking and improve your weakest point. Because in life, all those four pillars help you to succeed. Always try to be better than yesterday and you will succeed. Trust yourself more than you trust others. Listen to what you want for yourself and don't listen to what others want for you. Even if the others has the best interest for you, if they are not there where you want to be, then you shouldn't listen to them. Think clearly for yourself which advices are helpful to get you closer to your aim and which are not. Sort the ones out which are not helping you. Politely listen to the ones who gives you advices because they have the best interest for you. But do what your heart tells you to do. The people who gives you advices might love you. So you should politely listen to them so you don't hurt them. But explain them slowly and with patience that their path is not the right path for you. Understand that the people who are not succeeding are just too scared of failing. Explain to them that you are ready to fail. Keep in mind that 99% rather keep crawling instead of trying to walk and run. But this is not their fault. The society is built in this way. So even when we can break out of this circle, we cannot blame them. Help them to get out. To achieve success is a very lonely way. It's like swimming against the flow. Most will swim with the herd and with the flow, not against it. So be prepared that you will be alone, but learn to use every instance to motivate yourself to become better. When I was a teenager, I want to go to a tarot cards reader, a woman who reads cards and tell you your future. I wanted to know if I become wealthy. My sister knew me and she knows me good. And she said, you don't believe in that anyway. So why would you go? I answered, if the reader say I will become wealthy, I will feel motivated and work harder and smarter to achieve it. And when it says I will be poor, I will work harder and smarter to prove her that she is wrong. And there would be more reason for me not to believe her because I know I will achieve my aim. So no matter what she would say, I would use it to motivate myself. The things you want to achieve, the things you set for your life will become reality when you start to turn them into reality. Every day work towards your dream and you will get closer to your dream. So no matter what people tell you, always use it as a fuel to fuel yourself to achieve your aims. When you shoot an arrow, aim far and shoot. Even if you miss, you will have achieved a longer distance than when you would aim close and hit. But one thing I want to mention before we end this video is that never forget that we want to break this cycle and want to become successful, but not on the cost of others. So don't try to become wealthy while others has to get poorer for you to succeed. Always find a way how to succeed together. Remember, when you want to succeed, you will succeed. But it's not if you succeed. It's how you succeed. Let me tell you a quick story so you understand what I mean. In ancient time, there was a runner who is very fast. To prove he is the fastest runner, he told the king in his country to organize a race. The king was searching for the fastest runners in the country and organized the race. On the day of the race, he won and the people cheered and were celebrating him. 
Then the king told him, "There is a second race," and he placed the fast runner with a toddler, an old man, and a blind woman. The runner was confused, but when the race began, he was giving his all and runs as there was no tomorrow. Of course, he won the race, and the toddler, old man, and blind woman had barely moved from the beginning. There was no cheering or celebrating of the crowd. The king told him to go back, carry the toddler, take the old man by the hand and the blind woman, and guide them through the finish line. He went back and did that, and the people were cheering and celebrating for him once they reached the finishing line. So, in life, I want you to do the same. Succeeding is not difficult. It's just how we succeed. Don't let anyone behind when you succeed. Anyways, this was a long video. I hope that you could learn something in this video. If yes, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye. Experience again. Expand your limits. Politely listen. Never forgot, or no, no. In ancient, in ancient, in ancient, and ancient. Thank you so much. See you.